Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to continue working on our 2010 Club Car President. Today we're going to look at brake adjustment. We're going to look at how to adjust the brakes, where to adjust them, to give us that just the right amount of brake pedal free play that we like. So, got a couple of half inch wrenches, a little bit of WD-40. Let's go over and look at the car. As you can tell, we've already went and removed the floor mat. Now, on your stock OEM floor mat, you'll need to loosen this bolt and totally remove this bolt out so we can get the mat out of the way. Once it is removed, we'll come here to the center portion. There should be a little rivet there. We'll go ahead and remove that and then take this panel out of our way. Here is our brake rod assembly. This is connecting our brake pedal going back to the brake equalizer, which is this panel back here in the back that's got the brake cables. What that does is when you push down on the brake pedal, it equalizes the pressure or the pull that it makes on both cables so that you get an even pull on each wheel assembly. Now what we want to do is actually tighten this up a little bit. That's just a little bit too much play. First thing we want to do, get some WD-40, spray on this, and then let it sit for a minute. Okay, since we see on this rod we have more thread on this side, we're going to adjust the top side here. What we'll do is we'll take this nut, turn it counterclockwise, There we go. Now we take this middle rod, turn it counterclockwise. Until we get the amount of play that we want. You don't want to over tighten this because you'll put a strain on the brake shoes all the time. Now we got it just like we want. We can go ahead and tighten this back down. Tight. Yep. That's great. That's just right. Now we can go ahead and reassemble everything. Well, I hope today's episode was helpful on how to adjust your brakes on a 2010 Club Car President. Remember, all parts and accessories we install here are up for purchase on our website, DIYGolfCart.com. Be sure to look us up on Facebook and like us. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage. Mm -hmm.